Hello and welcome to this presentation on the fire triangle. For a fire to start, three things are needed. A source of ignition, fuel and oxygen. If any one of these is missing, a fire cannot start. Taking measures to avoid the three coming together will therefore reduce the chances of a fire occurring. We will now highlight some examples of common ignition sources. Smokers materials, e.g. cigarettes, matches and lighters. Naked flames, for example candles, gas or liquid fueled open flame equipment. Electrical, gas or oil fired heaters, fixed or portable. Hot processes, e.g. welding, cutting or grinding processes. Cooking equipment, e.g. ovens, hobs, toasters and microwaves. Faulty or misused electrical equipment, for example damaged or overloaded equipment. Lighting equipment, e.g. halogen lamps or display lighting too close to stored products. Hot surfaces, e.g. radiators or obstructed equipment ventilation. And finally, arson, or deliberate starting of fires. We will now look at some examples of fuel sources. Flammable liquid-based products, such as paints, varnish, thinners and adhesives. Flammable solvents, such as white spirit, methylated spirit and cooking oils. Paper-based products, e.g. packaging, stationery, advertising material and decorations. Plastics and rubber, such as videotapes, polyurethane foam-filled furniture and polystyrene-based display materials. Textiles and soft furnishings, such as hanging curtains and clothing displays. Waste products, particularly finely divided items such as shredded paper and wood shavings offcuts and dust. Flammable gases, for example liquefied petroleum gas or LPG. And finally we will consider sources of oxygen. The main source of oxygen for a fire is in the air around us. In an enclosed building this is provided by the ventilation system in use. This generally falls into one of two categories. Natural airflow through doors, windows and other openings or mechanical air conditioning systems and air handling systems. In many buildings there will be a combination of systems which will be capable of introducing and extracting air to and from the building. Some chemicals known as oxidizing materials can provide a fire with additional oxygen which will help it to burn. Oxygen supplies from cylinder storage and piped systems and pyrotechnics or fireworks which contain oxidizing materials and need to be treated with great care. For more videos, Nibosh advice and health and safety information please visit our website, our blog or our YouTube channel.